up, morning guys. Welcome back to today's video. Today is a Monday after the long car show. It was the best weekend. I love weekend long car shows. But anyway, these are all the ribbons that Sophie won with Lady so far this season. Lots of ribbons. I'm just sending them out here. I'm gonna put them away for her today. Or maybe I'll wait until she's done showing for the season. But that's it, you guys. Like that, those are the ribbons that she won this year from just going out with Lady and trying. And it's totally not about the ribbons. It's, it has nothing to do with ribbons. It has to do with going out, being with your friends, being with your peers, being with your coach, being as a part of a team. Like there's so many lessons in, in, that come in life from being on a sports team. And I'm proud of her. Like it's so easy to not try and put in all that hard work, but she's working hard with that horse. They've been together for three months now and hard work pays off. It pays off. Like you gotta do the work. She is honestly putting in so much effort. She's obviously got school now, but she's working really hard. They're working hard together. I'm so proud of them. But that's the thing in all things that you do. Putting in the hard work is what, what pays off. And like I said, it's not about the ribbons, but it's about improving and moving forward. And I'm so excited to see them moving forward. The low way is the fast way with horses, you guys. Just like our little ducks. Our little baby ducks are doing so, so, so well. Why are you guys standing in the hallway? <laughs> they are doing so well. They're getting along with everybody. It took one week for that little sweet girl to make herself fit into the herd and it was painstaking and hard, but it's amazing. <laughs> It's amazing, I'm so proud of her, I'm so proud of them. She slept last night with that door open and has all have, has the chickens and the guineas and the turkeys all around her now, she's accepted. And that's another hard thing in life, going someplace new, trying something new and it, being accepted. Like, it, life is hard you guys, just keep trying. If some, one thing doesn't work, try, try something else. I thought we got rid of the noisy rooster but apparently not. Hi, baby. Hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> Last night when we got home from the show, the turkeys came running to me. I just sat on the step and literally my girl turkey sat with me for hours. We just sat there and I just cuddled her and snuggled her. Go outside. It's time. Go outside. Come on. Get out there. I'm going to give you guys fresh food and water. I am trying to get all my fall cleaning done today really quick because it's supposed to be nice out. I want to show you what I did at the front of the house. It's not fancy. I'm not about fancy. But I just have this little thing in front of the door here. And we got, do you guys remember how we made these grape wreaths, grapevine wreaths last year when Sam was having a surgery? Um, <coughs> so each season I just take the, the flowers off and put something new on it. So I just have like a scary tree and some fall leaves and a couple pumpkins from our garden and this is what it looks like from down here i don't vi video it very much because i don't video when i'm just hanging out but ellie and i still sit here all the time you can probably tell because the cushions are always wrecked but it is so fun we took down the thing that i put here so i can like watch everybody over there nobody's around <coughs> it's a quiet <coughs> It's a quiet day on the day-by-day day farm. <coughs> Mondays for humans is the same for animals. They're all chill. I see the piggy going to make his daily morning lap to check and see if Posey's in heat. I love this porch. It's made me happy. It's not perfect. It's not stunning. It's just the best that I could do, and I'm happy with it. We also found this chair. We got it. It's kind of like an antique chair. I want to get some cushions for it. I love it. I love it. <coughs> I love any chair that has like a, um, because I'm tall, I like a chair that's like really long this way. It's always the most comfortable. Anyway, it's an antique and I don't know if I'm going to like paint it or what I'm going to do with it. Probably just leave it and find a really nice cushion and put it on there. But yeah, this is the front porch. I love it. Come on, Ellie Bear. So over in the indoor brooder. We have still four baby chicks. We have more chickens in the incubator. These are the chickens that some people sell in the spring. I'm pretty sure we have for one boy, there are some breeds that if they get a dot on the back of their head, 
a, like a tiny dot will be a girl and a big dot like that will be a boy. So I'm pretty sure, or maybe it's a hermaphrodite because it has a, a little tiny dot and a big dot, but I think that one's a boy. I'm not really in love with black chickens, but some of our black chickens are the friendliest chickens that we have. So I just let them, I just, I did, we just hatch what we have and we get beautiful colored eggs. Let me show you guys some of our eggs that we get. I think I've showed you recently, but anyway, they are all fresh and all clean, raised up their bed so that they can go under a little bit better. They're bigger now. They're like, what are you doing? <laughs> The other day when my sisters were here, um, I gave them a ton of eggs. These are not a perfect representation of all the different eggs that we have. We also have a bunch of pink eggs and we have really dark eggs, but we got blues and greens and beiges and we have tawny eggs. We have bigger eggs. We're super happy with the eggs that we get. So I think I told you guys this, but I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I did, but I have to show you. So my sisters were here. Speaking of my sisters, when they were here the last time, we gave them a bunch of eggs. They were like outside before I got outside and they were greeted by all of our super friendly animals. And then I came out and my sister, my sister saw this, this leaf, it's dirty now. It was clean when she was here, but it's so super vibrant. It's the same one that Sam thought was real, but it's fake. I just leave it out here now because it's entertaining. My sisters were like, look at that leaf. It's so gorgeous. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, Jenny, look at that leaf. And she's like, I know, I'm going to take a picture of it. And I'm like, it's fake. And then they were also shocked. But it's not, it doesn't have the same appeal now that it's dirty. <laughs> Maybe I'll take it in and wash it. She said she thought it came from that tree there, which is our first tree turning color. And it is looking gorgeous. I don't have any food for you. I got nothing for you. Nope, it's a leaf. <laughs> These are all my followers. Not all of them. I've got more than this. Wow. See, look at These are guineas. All of them are boys except for that little pied one, the little one with the white on it. So they're always mean to her. Or maybe they just want to be closer to her. I don't know. But thank goodness we only have one girl because, man, they are noisy. I don't know what she's saying. She's like, everybody come! She's standing here. She might give us food if we pressure her. <laughs> Even this little one. It's only 9.20 a.m. And Sam and I have got so much of our fall cleaning done. <laughs> I love you, babies. <laughs> this is what greets you anytime you come to the day-by-day -day farm. I've got nothing. So this little chicken is so sweet. <coughs> she will let people pick her up and she will let you pet her just like the turkeys and the guineas which are like wild wild like literally wild they won't let me pick them up but they will eat out of my hand <laughs> I have nothing for you but you're really cute <laughs> and pretty old we've had this girl for I don't know three years <laughs> already and she was already three years so she's got to be at least six years old Oh my gosh, that thing is driving me bonkers. Sam and I are adding something fun, made fun for us, to the farm today. We're gonna go pick something up that Sam's been looking for for the longest time. I'm excited. So I just finished editing Sophie's walk trot poles division. She didn't place in that division. She did so good. Like, I don't know if Lady was tired or if they just finally figured it out or what the heck happened, but they looked gorgeous. They looked amazing. They looked so good. She was against all the seasoned horses, like all the ones that have like ducks been to Trillium and yeah. Ducks are together now. Yep, ducks are good. Um, so it makes sense, like, and they only had prizes to fourth. So it was, it was definitely stiff competition, but that's the horror shows, that's the way that it goes, but watching it back even sam said like they looked the best they've ever looked like this show was like it's shocking you know you're going through you get, <laughs> you get a new horse you're going through <coughs> you're trying to like build her up you're trying to like fix all the things you're trying to like changing disciplines like there's just so much against you and then all of a sudden just like three months later you see this massive improvement like a massive improvement and I just, I don't know, I feel so proud. I'm so sad that it's winter now. Like, I wish they had so much more time to keep going and they are gonna keep going through the winter, but it's not the same as in the summer. But yeah, 
so proud you guys can't wait for you to see it well by now you've already seen it all right so this is what we bought this is what he picked out let me know in the comments below if you can guess what it is he's been talking about it i think he mentioned it in a video i'm sure he did but this is something that he's excited about hi we're out shopping <laughs> it's amazing like this has been an amazing day Welcome to our hay bales. Just joking. <laughs> wow, that is a lot of hay. Oh, and there's ours. <laughs> I love the way this guy runs his business though. Call him, and you tell him what you want, and you come and you pick it up. This day is gorgeous. It's so nice outside. It's like sunny and warm, but not hot. Do you miss the girls helping you? They haven't helped for a while. Yeah, <laughs> our family's growing up. Like, it's crazy how fast they grew up. We are home, and I am going to make my favorite salad. I love salads, but I really like a variety of different kinds of salads. I can't just eat lettuce all day, all the time. But also, I wanted to show you guys. I saw online where this line at the back of the toothpaste they come in red blue or green apparently this is just apparently wow this is tiny anyways if it has a red line then it means that this toothpaste is made of all chemicals if it has a green line it's made with all natural stuff and if it has a blue line it's made with a mix of chemicals and and um, natural stuff but i can't find any natural stuff like i looked at all the toothpaste wow this is so tiny I don't know if that's exactly true, so there's not much you can do. I have to just buy the stuff that we have that I can get, but I keep looking. So look at your toothpaste and see. Anyway, I'm gonna make the salad. I'm gonna show it to you guys. So it literally has four ingredients and it tastes so good. So I'm gonna pour them all in this bowl. So it's tomatoes and cucumbers and red onions. So I mix it all up. My three, three of my favorite things. This is so good, you guys. You're, you're probably, your your mouth probably watering already. And then, to top it off, you use yummy feta cheese. Pour lots in there. I'm just gonna pour this whole thing in there. Hey, I'm vlogging here. And that's it, that's totally it, that's it. Just cheese, cucumbers, onions, and tomatoes. And then you use your favorite kind of salad dressing on it. Some people use um, vinegar and oil, which is what Sam uses, but I use Italian dressing, I'll show you guys. I put some into my favorite bowl, and then I add a little bit of salad dressing. I'm using Zesty Italian. Mix it up. Oops hard to do while you're filming but mix it up and then I just let it sit for a little bit and then because I like my salad room temperature and then I'll come back and I'll eat it and this is like the best salad or one of the best salads so there's a few different varieties of salads that I love so I'm gonna let that sit for about 15 minutes and I'm gonna go and check on Sam I'm sure he's happy that I'm not checking on him literally every dog wants to go out right now except for Molly you want to come out? She's like, eh, ew, not with you. Come on, get out there. <laughs> I don't know where Daisy is. She doesn't hear, so she doesn't hear when the door opens, so she doesn't come running. Whereas the other dogs, they can hear. Whenever I come out, the dogs always run down there because they always think I'm going to the goats first. Wow, you didn't get very far. Wow, you guys are, oh my gosh, get out! Get. He bought it off a of marketplace. Look at my turkeys like, oh my gosh, Ellie, get out of the water. Um, there's no instructions, so he has no idea what to do. Are you? Like a puzzle. But you can look it up online, like can't a 4D you? 4D puzzle. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love the little shelter you made over there. So he took down this whole fence. Looks so good. 
they like it. Are you gonna like make it into like a little shelter? Uh, anyway. Those are my spare parts. <laughs> oh, those are your spare parts? Yeah. I was gonna make it with that or if I didn't get one of these. Yeah, so he's making a storage shelter. So what he wants to do is completely enclose this area right here so that when the chickens come out in the winter time, they can come out and block off all the wind and all the snow and all that stuff um, and they can come outside in the winter. You guys stop chasing chickens. Gosh. Anyways, mostly for the turkeys, the chickens are going to have another section. They go out over here actually. They have a chicken run over here and we're going to cover that completely in plastic too to prevent snow and ice. Alright, well I'm going to go back in and eat my salad. And might, or might not be done. But. All right, take your time. No pressure. I need Gabby. Yeah, Gabby's a genius at everything she does. And this is another reason why I like them so much. You're just sitting here relaxing and minding your own business, and then before you know it, you got a turkey on your back. Yep, that's me. Laura with a turkey on her back. <laughs> I don't know why they do that. So funny. I've never had poop on my back yet, or at least I have never seen it. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Eh? Turkeys are Turkeys are such cuddle bugs. Don't you jump on my back. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. I need to set some rules. No jumping on my back. I mean it. These ones are always though with me. You are so funny. Look at how cute he looks. He's missing a couple feathers though. You're missing a couple feathers. That's funny how he can flip his tail back and forth. <laughs> He's waking his tail. You are so handsome. Like they have the weirdest faces. Not the cutest faces, but I love them. One thing I've discovered living on this farm is that I love big birds. So that's why I know I, <laughs> that's how come I know I'd love an emu. Can you guys see them? I spy with my little eye three little ducks happy together under the truck. Don't you know?